guys. So I get people asking me all the time what I do to my chicken. And I don't know, I guess I didn't realize that it was not common, but I'm gonna show you. So exhibit A. I know it looks so gross, but <laughs> exhibit B. Um, I just boil a couple of cutlets, um, like two or three or four, depending on how much chicken I plan on eating. This is practice peak week, so I'm eating like five, six ounces per meal. So I actually boil a lot. And so when I'm ready, I just take the chicken, weigh it on the pan, measure out five ounces, cook it in the skillet with either canola oil or coconut oil and then cook whatever meal I am having at that time and then the rest just stays in there until it's time for me to eat it again so I just shred as I need it instead of shredding it all at once or instead of just cooking five ounces of chicken at one time I mean this is a great way to meal prep and a great way to just be efficient when cooking so try it out um, because the chicken is boiled it stays moist for a couple of days instead of baking it and um, making it all dry so that's why I love doing this I tried baking chicken it's disgusting like it just cannot it doesn't stay fresh I mean it just dries out so try boiling it unseasoned no seasoning um, 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes and then season it when you shred it when it's time to shred sorry my face isn't in this um, but yeah <laughs> enjoy so I just measured out um, five ounces again. It was five ounces. <laughs> and now I'm going to shred it, which you guys have seen me do this before. Take it and shred it with my hands. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's not seasoned yet. But I'm about to. I to put my bell peppers in. And you know, it's that simple. So, boil your chicken, set it and forget it, grab it when you need it, shred what you need, and refrigerate the rest, grab more later, shred what you need, and refrigerate it later. You know, it's just the way it is. It's fast, it's quick, you don't have to think about it, you just measure it, blah, 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 and that's it. Bam. Whoops. Hey guys. Yeah. Everybody, all the people of the world. Um I'm vlogging today. <laughs> as you can see. Today's Wednesday, July. I believe it's the 13th. That's my guess. Um So I'm vlogging today. It's my practice peak week. So right now I would be Two, three days out I'm dead it's bloated week which happens to fall on practice peak week which like as you guys know like my last show I did on my period and mentally I don't know I let it get to me um but for right now I definitely am holding on to water and I think it's because I'm not being as aggressive as I was for my show obviously I had to be aggressive for my show and losing water weight so I was wearing that sweatband thing every single workout going to the sauna every single day uh, right now I'm literally just working out and chilling which I should go to the sauna and I should do all that stuff but I know that I won't have that much trouble losing water weight um, during the show for sure so yeah, I know my body and I know how I react to things and I know how to lose water really easily and um, I'm not I'm not worried about that at all. Um, the great thing about my body is that I get my waist like super super tiny, like tiny. So the only thing I'm worried about or would be worried about is losing water in my thighs and my glutes and that right there is like goals and conditioning and that's really what I wanted to see at the end of this week um I still have a couple days left of this bullshit <laughs> so we'll see what happens 
I'm going to the sauna today. I'm doing my workout. I'm doing posing and, you know, typical peak week stuff. It's uh, 30 minutes of steady state cardio and um, probably like 30 minutes of posing and then like 30 in the sauna and then stretching like crazy. And then um, pretty much same thing tomorrow, which would which is Thursday, which would be two days out. And then um, that's it. So the show is freaking two weeks out right now, guys. Like um, this Friday, two weeks from Friday, I will be on stage, killing it, rocking it, showing everybody my body. Like, hey, I want to go pro. Look at me, and it's gonna be so much fun. And seriously, I'm, like, getting so excited. Like, I've been planning everything. Like, when I get excited about something, I plan, plan, plan. I make lists. I plan. I literally write everything out that I'm going to do. I'm seriously, like, crazy. Seriously. Like, I wrote out, like, my daily schedule of, like, what I'm going to do each day while I'm there. I've planned everything except for food. Uh, like, going out to eat. Everyone's like, oh, my God, I'm going to this buffet, this thing. I'm, like... The thing is about Vegas is there's so much damn food and if you have a plan, it's just it's just dumb because like post show, which I was watching the other national shows, the one a couple weeks ago, the bikini girls didn't go until freaking 1 a.m. And I'm like, really at 1 a.m. like do I want a giant burger and macaroni and cheese and wine? Like that's like my go-to like peace out, this show's over thing. But I'm like Honestly, like, if I can just hit up, if it's that late, I want to just, like, you know, go to the, the, um, there's a 24-hour bar at my hotel, 24-hour, um, cafeteria, whatever thing. If I can just hit that up, go upstairs and chill, that would be great, but I have friends that are doing the show, and they're gonna want to go out and, like, go out to eat and celebrate and blah, blah, blah. Right now, period brain, prep brain, um, all this shit depletion. I want nothing to do with that right now. I mean, I'd really have to be in the moment and be like, yeah, totally, let's go. Because, like, right now planning, I'm like, that doesn't sound like anything I want to do at all, actually. I just want to freaking go home right now. And I didn't even do this show yet. I just know how it is. Like, seriously, we're going to be sitting for so long. Like, so long. Prejudging is Friday at 1 p.m., Finals is not until the next night at the earliest 11 p.m. The earliest. This is a huge show. There's eight to 900 competitors, and they're doing finals all on one fucking day. And it's, like, so dumb. Like, so dumb. <laughs> I just, like, I can't wrap my head around it. 800 people taking the stage from 6 p.m. on. All in one day. I mean, it's 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 like crazy. But anyway, I'm not gonna stress about it. I I I'm mentally prepared for it because I saw what happened at the last show. So I'm ready. I'm ready to kill it. I'm ready to give it my 100% all, all, not all. And um, I can't wait to see how everything unfolds because I really think that I'm going to do well. Um, I would not do a national show if I did not think I was going to do well because this damn show is minimum thousand dollars. I'm driving there. It's a four hour drive. So I saved some money on flights, but registration's 300, hotel's 300, gotta do tanning. I'm doing my own makeup. Oh God, I have to get my hair done. It's like four or five hundred. It's crazy guys. It's expensive. So don't, do not, don't do a national show if you do not think you're going to go pro unless you want to waste money or you just want to see how you compare next to the other girls and you don't mind spending the money then that's it but i'm very like money motivated money conscious so hell no i would not be hitting the stage if i did not know i was gonna make it guys it's been seven minutes of talking like i do this i do this <sighs> anyway, I'll take you guys through my day. I'm about to eat my second meal, which is 20 grams of natural peanut butter and um, 5 ounces of shredded chicken, 40 grams of green beans, and some coffee. And then I believe afterwards I'm going straight to the gym um, after my coffee. And I'm going to do all that stuff I said. 
and then you know eat throughout the day and train clients and all that fun stuff so thank you guys for coming back to my youtube channel oh my god you you rock seriously you're the best like thank you and if this is your first time watching like this video um comment below like anything like any kind of interaction is great because like i don't like thinking that i'm just doing this for myself like i'd like to think that i motivate people <laughs> that this is all for a reason so you know if there's anything that you like here you want to see more you just love me tell me so so that i know and um subscribe so you can see my first national show so i'll get back to you guys later Peace. hey guys um i'm on my way to the gym right now and uh my day is totally off now because I I was supposed to I was supposed to go to the gym at um two, three, two thirty, two thirty. So that I could pose, um, do cardio and pose, do cardio and um There's a third thing. Oh, sauna. I'm like, what the fuck was I gonna do? Holy shit, we were just going so fast and got a red light. Uh, but my boyfriend came home. He's a trainer too. And we both just, we never see each other barely like during the day. So he came home and I was like, oh my God, boyfriend. And like, we just like chilled and like sat on our phones and hung out and stuff. So. Here I am, late as fuck. It's 3.30, I'm going to the gym. I have to be back home by 4.30 so that I can eat before my client at five. And so I'm just going to, I just like looked back and there was a kid staring at me. That was like, what? Um, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna pose. I'm gonna do posing and then I'm gonna do the sauna. And then I, I'm gonna do my posing client or my workout client, fat loss girl and um, just do my 30 minute cardio at my home gym after her so that's my day instead of getting it all done before the client I have to go hang out with my boyfriend and freaking damn but you know what life happens and you just gotta go with the flow and do whatever so I'm really excited because I just ordered my Evigen um, protein I haven't had protein in actually quite some time because of, I stopped taking protein shakes because of how bloated they make me after I take them. And the great thing about Evigen Nutrition, and I've tried their, um, I tried it at a um, expo and, and um, I liked it. But the good thing about their protein is that it's bloat free because there's no chemicals in it. There's no added fillers and it's all natural there's real vanilla bean in it like how cool and um it says no bloat so we'll see if i get bloated or not as you guys know i'm an evidence nutrition ambassador so i'll let you guys know how i how it tastes i got the vanilla bean and i'm gonna make ice cream with it and i'm going to make um pancakes as well with it i probably won't just drink it I've just never been that person. I don't like drinking my meals. I like to eat them. So I'll be making some delicious treats for you guys with my delicious Evigen Isoject Protein. And I'm rolling up at the gym right now, guys. So I will check back with you, maybe show you some posing, maybe not. I'm in a rush. So yeah, we'll see. All right.
that freaking workout, man. I'm so dead. I bet you were tired watching it. Like, I'm literally, I'm dying. I, first of all, I'm on, I'm on low carbs today and I can't talk. I'm soaked. That's what I was saying. I'm freaking soaked. As F. <laughs> So if you guys haven't heard of Fitness Blender, check them out. You just saw a routine by them. I didn't get the first clip, um, but it was 20 seconds of burpees, four rounds of 20 seconds of burpees. That video was 28 minutes long. You can go to their website, click how long you want the workout to be, um, how difficult you want it to be, and even how many calories you want to burn during the workout, and they'll give you... A workout to do and it's amazing it's great for days you don't want to leave the house to do cardio or in this instance um, all of the cardio machines were taken and I didn't feel like waiting to work out so I just went home went to good old fitness blender I used to do them all the time instead of going downstairs to the gym uh, when I was at my old place and I forgot how awesome they are guys like seriously so amazing do it I don't want to hear anything about anybody I don't have a gym membership, I don't have time, blah, blah, blah. You can put five minutes on there and they have a hit killer workout that's five minutes long and you can do it like sporadically. You can do five minutes, you can do it three times in one day. So do five minutes at this time, five minutes later and five minutes later and then there's your 15 minutes of cardio that day. So do it guys, um, work out. That's like another outlet, another way for you to get your cardio in is um, go to fitnessblender.com. I'm not... I'm not, um, it's not an endorsement or anything, like, they didn't tell me to promote them, I just use them, well, I, I don't use them anymore, but, like, now I use them, I used to do it all the time, and it's awesome, and oh my god, I have to go eat, so, I'm gonna go now, I'm ridiculous, bye, bye. Hey, guys, it is the, it's a new day, today is Thursday. Um, yesterday I wasn't able to, like, end the video or sign you guys off or anything because I I was in a lot of pain, um, I was just struggling, and I didn't want to vlog, and I didn't want to be negative, but, um, so I just wanted to come on today and, you know, give you guys a little sign off and a little word for the day. The thing is, is that... I know I've been, like, complaining a lot lately, and I don't know if that's, like, in the YouTube, but I know on Snapchat I've been complaining, and on Instagram I've been complaining, sounding like I'm complaining, but there's a reason for it, because I want people to know that there is a struggle, um, there is, it's not just easy day in, day out, and just killing it, but, like, in my head I'm killing it, when really physically I'm, like, just absolutely worn out completely and um I, i'm lucky enough you guys know i hate that word lucky not lucky but you know i'm fortunate enough to have to be in the right mindset to be doing this um if you are not then you should not be competing um i'm fortunate enough to talk myself out of any kind of trouble or pain or anything that I'm doing um, just to get ahead and do what I need to do to move forward and I'm very I'm I've trained myself to think that way I've trained myself to look at the positive side of things to be grateful for little things like oh yeah I'm on my period and I have extreme back pain but at least I'm able to train for the sport that I want to compete in at least I'm able to compete at least I can afford to compete you know all these little things like I'll complain about how expensive the NPC shows are and like okay at least you can afford to do it you know like there are some people that can only do like one national show a year and then they have to try again next year because it's so expensive to compete that they can't even do it you know they could be pro by now but they can only compete once a year because it's so damn expensive so I try not to complain too much but again um pre-motivated 
Melanie was a huge complainer, seriously, like, about everything. And, like, it's just in my nature to complain. But it's literally right after I correct it and I say, you know what? Like, quit complaining because, you know, things could be worse. Like, it could be worse. So today I woke up again, like, in the worst freaking pain, just dying, man. And I'm still in so much pain. And I don't know. I'm just, like just coasting these next um couple days and uh, i know it'll get better it'll be good and i'll be my excited self we're freaking going to vegas and we're gonna oh my god nationals like so exciting so i'm happy i'm very very happy so if you are going through what i'm going through and i'm i don't mean like going through your period and i don't mean like cramps and stuff like i guarantee you it's a lot worse <laughs> And I'm, then I'm making it sound, not saying I'm worse than you, but just, I don't know what I'm saying. But if you're going through anything bad, get into your own mind and say, you know what, things could be worse. So move on, keep going, everything's going to be okay. And you know what, it will be okay. So peace out guys. I probably just made this video 10 times longer than I needed to do it. As always, that's what I do. So, um, if you like me, you enjoy me, you like watching what I'm doing, you want to see me on nationals, you want to see me go pro, subscribe please, like, share, all that wonderful stuff, and um, I will see you guys in the next vlog. See ya!